it looks like CM Punk is going to make another go of it. A couple weeks ago, word got out that the former WWE champion was hinting at a possible second fight when the UFC returns to his hometown of Chicago. Punk was training at a Rufus Sport for just less than two years leading up to his debut, which took place in September of 2016. And although he trained at one of the best MMA gyms in the game under one of the great coaches in our sport in Duke Rufus, he still came out on the other side of it looking like a guy who's been training for less than two years. And the result of the fight with Mickey Gall went as anyone could have expected. He got absolutely thrashed and stopped less than halfway through the very first round and ultimately did not make a good account of himself. Although Gall only had two pro fights and was only known because he was on Dana White's looking for a fight, he was still an individual who grew up training in the same gym as Joe and Dan Lozon since he was just 16 years old. So the writing was on the wall on that one. And I don't mean to pile on as I'm not one of those people who knock CM Punk personally for taking these fights. Anyone who makes that walk deserves credit. I would have the utmost respect for him if he was taking an amateur fight under the amateur rule set of fighting three three minute rounds with no elbows and knees to the face, what have you. It's probably what he should be doing right now instead of fighting on the biggest stage in the world against pros. But if he has that opportunity and if he's willing to fight in front of his hometown crowd after how very bad the first fight went, you have to give him props for that. Like many of you, I'm not a huge fan of the direction UFC has been going in since the new owners have taken possession. And although I dislike a lot about the entertainment era, I've grown to accept it and not let the silliness get to me too much. And unfortunately, I think I've just gotten used to it. But I absolutely despise the idea when CM Punk first got booked for a fight. Alan Joban was on MMA Roasted the other week and he put it best when regarding Punk. He said that the legitimacy of the sport takes a hit when this sort of thing takes place and... I think that really sums it up well when it comes to the CM Punk saga. During the lead up to that fight, when friends of mine who are casual fans of the sport talked to me about it, I genuinely felt embarrassed discussing it. It's almost like it got in the way of what the conversation about that card should have been about. And I feel like that's just what's going to happen this time around. But, you know what? Fuck it. I can't say anything because I'll be sitting in front of my TV or a friend's watching it all go down live and loving every minute of it. I'll always consider myself a purist as the actual competition and of what takes place in the octagon is what I value above all else. And in this day and age, the importance of the competition is almost secondary to the goings on outside the cage and that does irk me, but I'll be damned if I'm not going to be entertained one way or another. I think I'm mostly accepting of the CM Punk show because it's a charade that the promotion can only keep up for so much longer. It's temporary. So, might as well pull up a seat, pop that popcorn, and enjoy the last hurrah.